<laughs> What's up, y'all? Big C coming at you. Roll call. Look, dude, today, today's video, dude, seriously, this is, um, make sure parental discretion is advised, dude. Today is about, um, relationships in prison, um, sex in prison, you know what I mean? Because there was a lot of people, and I was in the California prison system. There was a, so much homosexuality. Um, it's ridiculous. Because people said there was like um punks or sissies in there. You know, dudes that, you know, thought they were ladies. But they weren't. They were dudes. But literally, it was so rampant, they didn't even try to hide it. So in prison, food or like um dinner was um basically um a word for sex. You know what I'm saying? And there would be dudes, two dudes in a cell. And they would be a... Um, a fast food restaurant, and their cell would be a drive through Like, let me explain something to you. Do you remember when Big Lance was, like, um, doing a video about the cell etiquette? He said, I put my door butt to the door and, bull, like, break wind. Like, seriously, that was the reason they did that was not, you know, so the cell he wouldn't smell the fart. You know what, like, a baker is, like, um, they bake bread in the morning, and they leave the door open, so people would be like... They smell brand new when they go eat. Look, dude, this is how bad it was in California. Like, literally, dudes would do that so the fart smell. Like, people would be playing cards, like drinking the uh, jailhouse wine and stuff. And they'd be like, ooh, you smell that? They're like, yeah, dude, let's hit the drive through after this. And you would see dudes seriously go up to them and be like, um, let me get a combo for a number two. And a number two combo is like... Either one of the cellies would put their booties up against the thing, and the one dude would just, you know, be like, like looking like that and stuff. And people would be back there, three dudes lined up, like, hurry up, dude, man, hurry up, man. Like, it'd be like a drive through, like, four dudes lined up at the cell. So, when you would get a combo, that would mean like a, you know, a sexual relationship. And I'm telling you straight up, dude, and on Sundays in California, dude, it was messed up. You would go out in the rec yard, and it'd be a soul food buffet. And that's a, that'd be considered a sit-down restaurant. And they would have, like, a server come up and say, how many's in your party today? And there'd be, like, people like, just three of us today. And they would say, right this way. And you would see, like, four black dudes laying on their stomachs with the booty up in the air. And that was the soul food buffet. It was ridiculous, dude. They, they didn't try to hide it, dude. It was I was like, nah, dude. they come up to me like, bro, you don't get the buffet? I'm like, no, dude. Because I would have ladies smuggled in for me. But the rest of those dudes, not being an OG, they were doing all that nasty stuff, dude. And on Thursdays, was um like people like, oh, this is taco nice, Mexican, you know what I'm saying? And be a bunch of Hispanics dudes out there like, and you just go in there. And it was disgusting, bro, seriously. And Tuesday was like um Italian or like um fine dining. And it'd be like some white dudes out there doing the same thing. But I'm telling you something, the most popular thing, and this was very popular like in Virginia, like Big Lance breaking wind against the door. Nah, man, they don't understand. When they would fart, that would go out there, and especially if it was like Friday, dude, and they'd like, lock it down in 30 minutes. They'd be slamming cars like, bro, da, 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 drinking and smoking that tunchy and stuff like that. And they'd be like, you smell that? Ooh, man, but there's a massive line at that drive-thru. And there'd be like a cheaper drive-thru. They'd have like levels, like Burger King, McDonald's, Chick-fil-A. And it was the most expensive. But people like, nah, man, like I'm starving. So they would go up to like this really seedy, you know what I'm saying, cell and be two dudes in there. They'd be like, oh, strung out. And they'd be like, yo, man, like, um, let me get two combos. And they, they'd be fighting on the inside. Like, you you would be set back from, you see these booties, like, beep, beep, beep. like, you see a butt come up to, like, the slot on the door. You're like, yo, man, that's disgusting, dude. That was like, they had, like, a bad rating and everything. Like, the score was horrible there, dude. But, um, it was crazy. That's what a drive through was. You would just pull up real quick and, like, um, they had, like, a menu where you could, it's the dollar menu. And so you wouldn't get actual booty, but you could just go up there and, I guess stick your dong through and someone would you know, jerk you off or whatever. Like that was that was like the dollar menu. It was crazy, dude. This is what goes on in prison. Like literally, California, Virginia, Florida, just disgusting, bro. Like literally. That's just disgusting. Yo, bro, hit the drive through. I'll be like, nah, bro, y'all are sick, dude. Sick. It's crazy, man. And the warden came in one time. And um, I guess like someone didn't tell the one drive through or something. And the dude got his dong, like the um 
the little like porch slammed on his wheel, and he's just jumping like this, like hey, hey, and they like unlocked it and stuff, and like um, he lost part of his wiener, and it's a true story. So that's the kind of stuff that went on these sexual open relationships. And so when you hear someone say, y'all, we ate good, like you hear all these other prison channels say, man, we ate good in prison, we got a swole and all that. And what they don't tell you is they ain't talking about food, dude. They're talking about sexual relationship. So I, I, to this day, even on the outside, when someone's like, yo, let's go to a drive-thru, I'm like, nah, bro, that's just, you have no clue what that, you know, uh-uh. That's disgusting, bro, because that's how prevalent it was on the inside. It was nasty, dude. So... Hopefully, that ain't make y'all too grossed out. It, it's Sunday. It's the Lord's Day. Y'all can go to church and, like, wash your mind of that story because that's what goes on, kids. You don't want to go to prison because some of these cats were forced to work at the drive-thru. You know what I'm saying? Like, they'd be like, you would have a dude out there playing basketball like this. Like, what's up, bro? Where you from? Yo, what's side kill up, blah, 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 blah. And they'd be like, hey, check out something in my cell. And they would slam the door, and you'd hear, whoa, whoa, whoa. you hear, whoa. And he, then you see, like, just booty go up to the door and like that he was forced to be the fast food worker you know what i'm saying it's crazy um and no one like fast food even like on the street it doesn't pay much it didn't pay much on the inside but those buffets on the wreck yard man they made some crazy good money but it was disgusting dude like they would sell out on laxative on the commissary and i'd be sitting in my cell counting hundred dollar bills you know watching tv with the beautiful guard who happened to be a model and she like, why is it so crazy in this prison? I was like, they just so gay around here. It's crazy. True story, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Story time. So I hope y'all enjoy that, you know. Oh, I've been, mean, you know what I'm saying, smoking a little bit of that good grass. But um, stay sober. Big Sid. And um, I'm going to go live in a little bit.